peace. What's going on, everybody? Mike, guys. Got an interview with the crew mate of mine from Amsterdam. We're going to talk about some B Girl history. Enjoy the palm trees in the back. What's up, Richie? Daylight. What's going on, Daylight? I need to get you back up on here too, though, bro, because the last interview that we did, I didn't get a chance to save it. So let me know if you're down for that to do the interview again so I can save it because I want to put it on my YouTube channel for the new year. So request the, the little icon at the bottom where it says request to join video. Alright yo, let me know when you're available daylight anytime um, this week. I should be free though. Actually on Thursday I have time though too. So if you're free on Thursday, um, okay, we can definitely do that. I'll hit you up on I'll hit you up after this video and then we can schedule a time though, bro. I think that would be dope. So let me know what's up, alright? Yo, what's up? How's it going? Yeah, good, busy. <laughs> You've never done this before? What? you never done this before? Uh, yes, uh, last year. But uh, always new for me, you know, I'm not, uh, still get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> With Instagram and all that kind of shit. <laughs> but dope. Okay. Thank you for asking. So, yes. Yeah, so, yeah, appreciate it. So let's start with your with your early involvement with breaking though, like when did you first get, first introduce yourself? Let's start with that. Well, I'm Phoebs. My real name is Fatima. I'm uh, born and raised in Amsterdam. My Moroccan mm -hmm. roots. And uh, um, well, um, I'm a B-girl, like started in 2001 till 2009 when I got my first one, my child. Mm. So I had like a mom period for a decade for 10 years and after that when the corona start yeah <laughs> breaking again so for me it's uh really nice to be back in the community and uh and also in uh in, in the creative movement so, so I'm you really... can do, so would you say that you've been breaking for how many years total inclusive now yeah well 13 years Years probably if we put it all together. Years. Yeah. But for in the beginning, it was really like I will enjoy the community, and I was not really always a diehard practice girl. Like, oh, I want to do this or I want to do that. I was really enjoying the dance and just mm -hmm. people and other dancers and um, you know, jam exchange of uh, creative movements and styles so that was my first uh period of my breaking uh journey and l later on when i started like you know getting serious or getting into battles then i start really okay i have to be clean all right i have to do this or this good so then i start to practice more and uh well a few days later i i quit so that's oh, I see. Fine, you know, but <clears throat> I was a big, big, of course, but uh, not really like diehard practice every day or so. I really enjoy the the community and the movement in in the dance. All right. So, um, in Europe, like, who are some of your inspirations today? As far as like, um, it could be b boy or b girls, but is there anybody currently that you? That when you see them break, you're like, I like, I like to see this person. I like their vibes. A lot. <laughs> Some a lot. people I really don't. I never see because 
nowadays you got so much information and so, so much visuals and of course i know which i really like and i'm really bad at names and it's like you're dope or not it's one of the two it's not hmm, right. can i see something in it no it's yes or no it's in or not so um i can really not tell the names but uh for example if i see a, a guy like why not or like really musical like alef people really musical like high level or high mm -hmm. it's dope to see just the connection with the music and to use it to, in break and to get uh, a next level of it it's not really like the old school uh top rock but they elevated to a level so that that's inspiring me as well but of course if i see ken swift it's always Ma um maurizio it's always like damn so found only foundation but so dope it's like how you bring it you know and that's gives give you so much flavor in the dance and like my sister hurricane you know from from just for uh for rocking crew oh yeah yeah it's dope to see her like rocking um so uh, uh jesse j from Switzerland, like Beatles, yeah. also, especially in my generation, when I see the uh, J skills as well, it's you know just clean, fresh. Yeah. If it's that, oh, so there are a lot of people, also younger generation as well. But I like to see style. I like to see character in a dance. Basically, mm -hmm. that's it. That's cool. Yeah, I think that today's younger generation just watching like the clips, especially on Instagram, is, is I don't know, it's 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 super super crazy. It's high level. Ah. It's super super crazy though. Like I, I can I don't really see it getting <laughs> crazier than than it is right now, but I know that it you will because like <laughs> the kids are figuring out new ways how to like twist their body, and that's the difference. Yeah. You know, because the basic, like the basic foundation of like their moves, like they're figuring out ways because they're flexible and they're younger yeah. and they're figuring out how to ways, how to intertwine, uh, intertwine their elbows and their knees and their legs behind their neck. And yeah. I'm just like, it's pretty crazy. Probably that's why it goes to the Olympics. I don't know, but <laughs> yeah. probably that's the reason they saw like, okay, these people can do really crazy shit with the bodies. And they don't see any musicality in it. So they were like, mm -hmm. okay, let's make, uh, put this shit on the Olympics. I don't know, but uh, still, I, I'm, I'm like, we are from the same generation. So for us, I think it's, it's, it's a dance still have to be an art form. So uh, you right. have to uh, keep it by yourself and connect with the music and, and yeah. throw it in your art as a dancer. And try to mm -hmm. bring people as a community. For me, that's the important thing. And of course, if you can, you know, make it your job or being the best of of your country to represent. But it has to be a flip side, you know, of a, how you say it, of a medaille or of a, of a coin. So it's also uh, taking your time. Uh, not having time to create so if you see this red bull uh coaches and how how they practice they put them in the gym you know and to work on the condition and to work on this and that and this so you don't have time i think to create you cannot choose okay. this jam or i go to that jam you have to go to only the jams you're supposed to go and you can make money, of course, but for me, is that the loss? Because I don't, I don't have the freedom to choose what I want, to where I mm -hmm. have, to, where I want to go, or I see that DJ spinning in, at the gym. Dope! I want to go there. So, it's that's the, that's the, the choice you make. If you want to be yeah. best, so you deliver uh, a piece of yourself. Mm -hmm. So you grow as a sport, right? A, right, and that as the be a dancer. You know what? I, what I would like to see, though, I know the levels of the moves is getting crazy. I just kind of wish the knowledge that people had for like the culture got crazy, though, too. 
Yeah. Because the moves are getting crazy, but the, the understanding and the knowledge behind it is like it's at a very low level. But yeah, but that that's the thing what I say it's you 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 in you I can say you, you don't have time for that anymore to do your research. You just like I think they do. Well, well, to be honest. No. The reason why I say that, I mean, that's just my point of view, because I feel like everybody, we have 24 hours in a day, and we can mm. pick and choose what we want to put our focus on. If we just only want to watch videos, we can watch videos. If you want to take time to understand and learn where this culture came from, Covert, the Zulu Kings, Rocksteady Crew, TBB, like, you can do that. Of course. But if you get paid and somebody tell you what to do, then you go. You choose mm -hmm. to, to get and to practice for that, or you just focus right. only to uh, battles, so you you don't even uh, develop yourself as a person to go in a cipher mm -hmm. to see how to connect with other dancers. And it's amazing what come out of your body. It's it's the creativity, it's the high level, it's the music connection, what's coming out, you know. Mm -hmm. And so you miss that. Mm -hmm. So that's a part of the journey uh, as well and that's a part of the history and where this dance came from so right i don't know or it's it's a loss or a win i cannot tell because the olympics is also really uh a good thing as like uh people know uh what what a b-boy beagle is <laughs> like people who at first it was really totally on the ground now it's like going on television so in a way, it's good for the community, but we have to work together smart to make it big on who yeah. we want to be. And not how people suppose, or the big commercial organizations supposed to tell us how to move. Mm -hmm. So we mm -hmm. have to flip it, you know? So yeah. I hope that time. So, yeah. don't, don't so when you first started breaking, were you ever involved in any type of cruise? Because when I first got it, my first crew that I ever got in when I was young, it was called um, the Lockatrons. That was my first breaking crew. You know, I was, I was in the seventh grade. And it was a little crew that we made around for our school. And we would battle people at the playgrounds and stuff like that. Were you ever involved with the dance crew no. when you first got down? Uh, yeah, later on in perhaps, I think in 2004, Five, I think, in a Soul Warriors crew. There were like people where we were hanging out with. Um, mm -hmm. I, I mean, Priscilla, she's, she's not breaking, but she's really my home girl. And Soul Trotter, uh, uh, Rebel Number One, he's DJing now uh, as well at okay. IBE, but I don't think, think he's breaking anymore. Um, well, Frank, uh, we got a couple of people who we travel and to do battles and also go to jams and represent ourselves. Um, that was dope, a dope time. But just that, and then you asked me to go on, a, um, on, on, on your crew. So it was dope to represent as well as a Beagle, um, uh, the, the yeah. States. Uh, and it's, I like the idea that you want to have the Beagles also, you know, on a spotlight to represent ourselves. Mm -hmm. So that's great, but I really yeah. had a big crew that I did big things, but it was a good time, and I'm really, um, you know, blessed to 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 experience that part, to have a crew mm -hmm. to travel. Uh, you know, it's dope. Um, but breaking for me was really a personal journey, and I like to travel a lot, well, and just go to jams, and just to cipher. That's what I love to do. Uh, um, so yeah, so if I go to practice, well, I go alone. I see a lot of guys practicing there. And if I want to know something, that's always, I've never had any class or something. So it's really, you know, self-teach. But if I want to know something, I just ask and try it and figure it out on my way and I do it. So that's that's the nice yeah. thing, the uh, breaking is the community so I love about yeah. it yeah so is there anything that you when you think of breaking and you look at and you say like if 
if there needs some changes from your point of view, what, what would you think that um, from your point of view that you see that breaking might need some changes? For, for, for in the future? Yeah, in the future. Um, I don't know, or I don't know to say it need changes, but I think more that we should, should stay, stand still, um, uh, to acknowledge where the breaking came from and who are the pioneers. Because I think that a lot of pioneers, people who really make this dance alive and making the day where it is today, I don't think they got really a, a appreciation or they got the support or um, mm -hmm. credit for it. So we just go too fast. It's like, oh, it's going there. Ooh, let's go. Money, 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 money. Or let's go. Oh, this guy is fresh. Oh, let's take it. But just go a few steps back and grab the ones who were there and didn't make any money that time, but are there for the love and still are here, you know. Right. Uh, example Somebody... for judges or for, you know, um, uh, uh, being uh, just an invitation to a jam. It, yeah, I, sometimes I'm asked, thinking like, why is that person a judge or why he's on the spotlight? Because before him was D, D, D or so, 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 but he's not here. So that is, um, I think that we should uh, stand still and to acknowledge that, you know, and appreciate Somebody... that as Somebody had mentioned something about a crew called the Soul Warriors. Yeah, yeah, I told you about it. Okay. Who's that? B. <laughs> Who's that telling you? Somebody in the comments. comments. Yeah, um, Soul Warriors. Crew where that's what I'm telling you about. Probably he's watching. Okay. Yeah. So. That's interesting. All right, I like that. Um. I, I just see, like, for me, I think I, I just think more of, like, on the educational level because when you get to a certain point in your life, though, like, you, I think um, when I was coming up, breaking, like, we've always had panels. We always had, like, somebody, like, speaking to us, like, yeah, giving no. us, like, the yeah. blueprint, you know. We had mm -hmm. always somebody, like, you can ask them questions, you know, while there was a jam going on and it made me want to be more inspired and it made me want to go and do the research myself. Like I'm constantly still doing research, not only with breaking, but just with life, you know, like basically like nutrition, how to stay really healthy because the body's everything. And if you don't take care of the body, you know, like you're, yeah, you're, you're not going to be breaking 30 years from now. Mike, that's, that's the difference between, I think, I don't know, between people. I don't know if I can say this generation and next generation, Mm -hmm. But I see myself not only a part of the culture, but it's it's my life. It's how I breathe, how I wake up. It's my spirituality. I can I can find myself in it, in mm -hmm. in the whole culture and and the mentality and the movement. And it's the the place I can feel home in it. It's me. But and of course, it's it's everything. It's your char character, how you how you being with with people, how you being to yourself, how you being uh, uh, upon the dance, uh, everything, and the, the totally art form with it. But if you're taking only this part himself separate, like okay, I'm a dancer, period, and beside that, you don't uh, treat people good, mm -hmm. or you know, backstabbing, or you 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 okay, you can't eat. eat shitty uh, food okay but if you're getting older you're going back at it like okay if i keep my body i want to live with my body along uh, in a fit form you know you're gonna check okay i have to be in a nutrition and a good good path to keep it uh healthy you know and to enjoy the dance more beside the dancing we should do it as people period yeah like uh, if you're older even you dance or not you should move you should have your body in exercise you should keep yourself healthy but that's later on. But it's the whole packet. It's the whole, the whole thing. It's not the separate thing. So it, the, this generation, I don't know. And maybe this is, they have to grow in it because they are probably younger to mm -hmm. connect you know, in the soul. And I think then you can, you know, like a puzzle, you can breathe. Yeah. You know? So that's what I think. 
Yeah, I think you're absolutely right, though. I'm going to agree with that. You know, when you're younger, yeah, you just want to get crazy as you want to get, though. You're not thinking about stretching. You're not thinking no, about eating. No, no. That's yeah. the thing. When I, when I stopped and I, began, I had four children, right, in 10 years, and when I just start, I just practice by myself. I find, like, an art spot from a friend of mine. She's, like, an artist, and she said, okay, you can have my keys and just practice whatever you want. I'll buy a finial, and I just put the music on and I just start, you know, out of the blue. Mm -hmm. I had no Instagram, nothing, because I, well, I, why I have Instagram? I have nothing to tell, you know? So I started to break it and without any stretching, I didn't know, I felt like 16 again. So after a year, my meniscus broke. So I had to do surgery on my knee. So because, oh, okay. because not using my body, good, not, I had to stretch, uh, strength my body in the first place because of all this having children, it's, you know, it's, it's doing something with the, with your body. So this is the thing, a big lesson I learned from it. So I'm starting over again to strengthen my body first, to do the stretching, mm -hmm. good, have a good nutrition. So I'm starting back again, but in a way it's, it's good. All is good. Um, yeah. So I think also, um, not only breaking, but what's your first connection with hip hop? Is like, it's is it like a you know thing that you mom or da daddy should bring you to? It's also this time like everywhere you can take every lesson whenever you want. And in our time, I think it was more like build up from a struggle or something, you know, from the streets. I, I'm not from the streets, but I <laughs> had this mentality from the streets like fuck you know my life is fucked up now and i found him <laughs> up. like i found something there's something is taken care of it's me it's i feel comfort in the music i feel comfort in the dance and i can express myself and i think it's a beautiful thing if you can um feel the connection in a in a, in a certain things i don't know what but for me it's hip hop. but if if somebody feels a connection that can help you through your uh, uh, difficult times, I think it's a blessing and you should hold on to that. And, yeah. and I, I think maybe nowadays it's not that way that connect with maybe breaking mm. or whatever. Dope to do or look so cool or, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Then it's, it's the other approach. You feel me? It's, it's mm -hmm. like... Like not, you're not going into, in the deep. It's just, you're doing it because you're doing it. It's there. But right. it's like, it, it came for me as a blessing. Like, wow, this is amazing. And still it is. <laughs> yeah. So. so when you think of the U.S., like um, in terms of like American, like hip hop, like what, when you think about, about the United States, like what comes to your mind when you think about America and hip hop? Like as far New as like, like overall. <laughs> New York, <laughs> straight up. <laughs> New York. Yeah. 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 You been there? So, yeah. In... Did you go to the Bronx? Yes. How was I was it? to the place. Uh, I got I got a few practice spots as well, but uh I went also to the place where King Opera uh, is in uh, Bushwick. Mm -hmm. So I learned kind of rocking steps uh dope yeah and i love to see the community it was so big it was like a, uh, a baseball uh felt place indoors like everywhere everywhere everybody practiced like well it was amazing to see because mm. in, in amsterdam here it's like in small groups it's not a whole uh big place it's only in small groups thing maybe you got not if you got really a lot of people, then 10 people. Yeah. Together. So what about like, like um, California? Like when, when you think about California, what comes across your mind? Yeah. The, the reason why I say that, because a lot of people don't really um, speak on it, but California elevated their breaking so high. Like that's the only probably only the reason why that it got to the level that it did is because basically because of style elements. Yeah. Skill to be honest skill. with you, style elements like style elements took breaking to like that level where it's, it's where it's super I crazy could, where it's at right now. As in DVDs, when we go into jams, 
that was the only thing where we go by bus together or you just go to jams and they had only DVDs and t-shirts that you can buy. And yeah. that is what we did. That is so dope. And it's still there, but it's not the same vibe as we, we were like really, whoa, one DVD was like 20 guilders, I think, or euros, yeah. I don't know which time. But it was, you know, if you got a DVD, oh, you, that's dope. Then you got, okay, you can burn it, you know, you can copy it on. <laughs> you have to, okay, copy it for me. And, or you can watch it together, you know. But there was a DVD yeah. with star elements as well. I remember that in, in Brussels, yeah. I think. Because yeah. of like like Star Elements and there was many other crews, but I just have to mention them like the most because like Ruin and all this shit that he's doing, you know, all the stuff that everybody's folding their legs one way and, and baby air tracks yeah. and all that. That all started with him in ninety six. Yeah, crazy. The, the nineteen nineties when people are doing nineteen ninety hand hops, when they do the flare nineteen ninety hand hops. That that's his move though too as well. Yeah, but you're Oh, you guys got a, got a, a big movement going on. Yeah. Okay, look, yeah. For, at that time, I didn't know. I, for me, it was the States like one big same field. So mm -hmm. I didn't separation. Oh, this is East Coast, West Coast. I didn't had that. I just look at the people, how they were dancing. Mm -hmm. And that was it. But you, you had crumbs, I remember, came to Milky Way to the concert of Black Eyed Peas. Oh and yeah. I remember came like everybody was like, well, you know, Crumbs is coming. We didn't whatever, we didn't <laughs> care about Black Eyed Peas <laughs> about the concert. For us it was like it was corny. <laughs> but oh, I because see. Crumbs came, we were like, Okay, we should go. So we had we had like a session there, so it was dope. Mm. What year was that? Probably two thousand four or three. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that because he asked me if I wanted to go see him in concert or two. He gave me like some tickets to go see him with Black Eyed Peas. And I thought that was crazy though, you know, because Black Eyed Peas is just a musical group, but to have a yeah. B-boy travel with them, a real legit B-boy. But that's know? the, oh, but but Nas yeah. did the same. When Nas came to Amsterdam, I didn't, I, I forgot who he, he brought. He, he bring two B-boys. I, I, I KML used to be with them. KML. Oh yeah, yeah, but it was dope. They came with, um, I think, or red Adidas or Puma track shoes, mm -hmm. and and mm -hmm. I came like on the stage, like in waving, and with the two B boys. Oh, but it was dope. But you know, you came for Nas. We didn't know about the B boys, but it make it fresh. That's dope. <laughs> and KRS, of course, he's always like B boy love. Oh him. yeah, playing us on stage and freestyle on us and you know he's really keeping the community together and that's dope to see how and peace and djing like uh keep the culture together like it's 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 not a separate thing we we should do it together making this party yeah and that's all about but nowadays i think it's getting more on his his own way but that's yeah i think thing. you're definitely right about that i remember that time when um yeah like nas and them and I would see KML with the red Puma outfit and I thought that yeah. was pretty crazy though like to see uh, once again another legitimate um rapper you know like with some legitimate real breakers not just somebody that's just wearing like a tracksuit yeah it was dope it was dope yeah for sure yeah yeah I hope so, uh, more artists gonna do that you know to make it also um possible for for dancers to not only to shine but to represent how it should be mm -hmm. you know really not only take money and just go so what is your do you have any goals for this year like 2023 do you have any goals that you that you want to set for yourself as in person or with the breaking with, with, with the breaking you know uh i want to make my um knee my leg so strong that I can do the things oh, yeah. because I can, can really do, you know, I have my limitation, but uh, like certain go downs and cannot do it. I cannot really do really proper six step, but you know, I'm building around it, but I hope um, I can just um, 
get into rocking. I'm really interested in into to do rocking. Mm -hmm. Um so I hope I can do to really understand the dance and I'm in the learning with uh Papa Love. Um so shout out to him. um want to you know teach me about the uh, I met him in in the summer and we had sessions together and yeah, you know, I'm really interested in the dance as well. Um, and of course, as a Beagle, I want to be, you know, better, cleaner, uh, more variations, more freezes. <laughs> it's it's all it's an endless journey. It's like I want to always be better, you know, and mm -hmm. it's done. It's it's never done, and that's the night. The best thing of the dance, you you never finish learning. You can create a move, and from the move, become another move, and sometimes you get inspired and you do you know your body changes and you do other moves and it's give me energy and that's why i'm still here uh after having all these kids and uh, being 42 and i'm still dancing and i really enjoy it because it gives me this energy which i really yeah enjoy. yeah that's amazing though I know you got to get ready to go, you know, I'm because it's going to be your session. Olympics, right? Huh? I think I'm too old for the Olympics. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not uh, I don't even want to go there, but I'm not really planning to do battles or some battles go spontaneous. And sometimes I'm at the gym and some girl asks me, oh, you want to do two and two with me? And I'm like, okay. You know, I'm not practicing to do any battle or something, but. I always want to be get the best out of me and always be ready for whenever, whatever, yeah. you know, just always be ready, steady and, uh, you know, always can, can, can rock whenever I want. So That's basically good. that is, good. yeah. Okay. I just, oh, actually one more question. I'll let you get ready to go. Cause I have some things I need to do. I'm just barely starting my day. If yeah. you have to give any advice to today's generation, B-boy or B-girl, being like an, an older person that's been involved with breaking, what would you share with them? Uh, first of all, to uh, stay or be or find yourself mm -hmm. in, it, in yourself. So uh, you have to be close to yourself to show your character dance and to be creative and to listen to the music and play with the music when you hear. And uh, uh, that's one thing, and uh, go to in this journey to do research. Also, also where we had this in the first of the interview, uh, where we talk about uh, go search for uh, your your history, history of the dance, and if there there are enough pioneers, just contact them, ask questions. Yes, they are alive. You know, it's not we are just fifty years. So there are a few, there are enough and try to connect and just uh, focus on yourself and travel, go mm -hmm. to jams and drop the ciphers. That's only what I can say. This is the best thing where you can grow as a person and as a dancer. And of course, if you want to do battles, it's also good. You practice for that, but don't lose your joy in it. I think yeah. that's the, the most important thing because it's not, Dancing, it's not only for one or two years, it's a whole lifetime. I hope I can be oh, like yeah. her, then I can be still dancing. Of course, not the breaking maybe, but if, if, I, if I can do some rocking or some salsa or whatever, just enjoy the movement and we should keep on our body moving in a way. So if mm -hmm. we do some music, it's the best thing that you can do. I think you'd be happy. <laughs> that's I think thing. that's right. Yeah. Yes. Thank you for sharing that. Thank like, I appreciate it, you know, having you on. You know, yeah. it's finally good to visually see you. Yeah. And so. I'm, I'm proud that you wanted to be a part of something that I created back in 98. And, and um, I'm going to keep expanding it. You know, it's a brand new year. So I'm just kind of taking steps, you know, um, taking steps at a time. And I think this year, like I'm gonna get um official crew um necklaces made like you know like the yeah, yeah, GBB yeah. has their me they have their own necklaces one. yeah 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 dope and Mikey Ice it's dope that you have 
all this footage it's so uh valuable and i hope you can have it in a you know uh, uh some in a documentary i hope you you can you know get your shine in it because uh it's valuable and i'm glad that you're still doing this and and that you keep on doing this because we need it yeah it's gonna, that's, that's... gonna happen like i i believe that if I just keep going, I keep going, I know that I'm across somebody and somebody's gonna be like, bro, let's take what you, you do and let's like, like, let's get it on like Netflix or something huge where it can be seen. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think it's gonna happen because like this year, especially going into February, because February is Black History Month, I'm going mm -hmm. to be interviewing a lot of, a lot of original, original pioneers from New York, New York, New York. Dope, dope. Like, like I'm excited about interviewing this one brother though, um, Cosmo D, um, the one that came out with the song Jam on it. Yeah, yeah. Oh it's not my Ronald God! D, right? Huh? It's, it's not Ronald D, right? Cosmo, Cosmo D. D. Yeah, dope. Yeah. That Bless guy it. right there. When, when I was a kid, Jam on it. You heard it everywhere. everywhere. Jam on it was down the street. Jam on it was upstairs. Jam on it was at the. <laughs> The house party. <laughs> yeah, and but it that's was what I, I want to do. Hmm? At that time. Yes. Yeah. It, it, it was, it's still the ultimate jam. If, if yeah. I go to a club and you put on jam on it, there's always going to be somebody that's going to start breaking, yeah. though, instantly. And they're yeah. not even like a B-boy today, but they're a B-boy from back in the day because that song, it's like the anthem. Yeah. When you hear doom, 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 <sighs> doom, 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 everybody instantly just start yeah. dancing. Yeah. So for me to be able to cover his story, um, I think I'm just going to really try to um, cross over to like another audience though too, you know, as well. Like I want the B-Boy community, but then I want the pioneers, pioneers, the people that paved the way for the B-Boy community, like the 70s generation. Yeah, yeah, dope. But that's what I'm talking about. They still here. So bring them on. You know, we need those people. They should not be forgotten. No. Totally not. No. And not we know me. that. Me at least. And we are yeah. very important, especially you, to keep them, keep, give them the shine to represent and to present them to the new generation because they don't know it. So they yeah, they don't know it. it. Yeah, so it's important. It's Thank you so gonna much. Happen, though. Really. Okay. God bless you. Thank you for doing it. Thank you. All right. Okay. Peace. Take care. Peace.